Hey guys, Dirty Dungeon here, and we are going to try some Under Rail. We are playing at normal difficulty, and I think we're going to go with Classic XP, because that makes the most sense to me. The oddity thing seemed odd. We're going to go forward. Male or female? I'm not sure about this game too much. As far as I know, it is an isometric RPG, I believe. But I'm not sure about much else. Feats? Or T? Pack a rat hound. Feats and things. So, I don't know. Strength measures a character's muscle power. Also affects melee di damage and carrying capacity. Sniper, assault rifle, sledgehammers. Okay. Psy points. So you, there's a Psy ability. Huh? Go this way. Instruction workers. Some crazy looking dudes. You want to be the hooded man. How many portraits are there? Okay, well, I've seen them all now. That looks interesting. I think we're gonna go with this dude. And it looks like he has an eye patch. Psy thought control. Ooh. I like this stuff. What is Will? Yeah. These. I understand. They're gonna be what you want if you want to be kind of like a. Uh, Like almost like a wizard, but like with just mind control, size stuff. Ooh. Also electronics and things. Tailoring. Oh. So he's in mercantile. Okay. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. The perception a little higher. We're gonna be weak. I have a strength of three. Put one intelligence to one more. Um, don't want to be too stealthy. Move decks down all the way. Not interested in being too combat heavy. Got a perception con. Let me have one more point. I could do eight will. Hopefully, I'm skilling well. We're gonna be Ajax. Dirty. Dirty, let's go Dirty Agent. Or Agent. Agent D. We are going to put some points into this thought control thing. It seems interesting to me. Go up to weigh the 20. As far as it'll let us. Synergies. Okay. It's the mind to exert mental. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll do Psychokinetics too. We'll just put all these all the way up. I'm gonna be good at him. Crafting items, traps. I hope this stuff is useful early game at all. Some persuasion. So this is increasing the other two. So these all work in conjunction with him. I feel like we're an intimidating mind specialist. That to 10. And we're going to want to do some stuff with it. Crafting various items such as weapons, armors, and... As I said, I've never played this game before, so I'm not too sure. Let's be good at hacking, too. We will exert our control over the world. We have a decent perception, but this is based off dex. Strength. Perception. Let's do... we do crossbows? I guess we're going to have to do guns or crossbows. I think crossbows sound cool. We're going to go with crossbows. For sure. Do... Or do we want to actually do mechanics because we're doing crossbows? 
energy weapon. That kind of makes you want to go guns. Oh well. Beats, huh? Alright. Ninja looter, nimble, expertise. You're non critical. Your non critical crossbows, melee, and bullet based firearm attacks deal additional mechanic damage equal to level. Your level up. Recklessness. Paranoia. Snooping. Let's do Pack Rat Hound. Because we're going to have carrying issues at first, probably. Let's balance that out. Let's do an aimed... Sh or should we do snooping? Let's do an aimed shot. Like that. Filters? No filter. Except... So we're Agent D... Alright. What's the situation at the South Tunnel? And this is ha ha Hadaran? Hadaran Tanner? Hadaran. Hadarian? Hadarian. Anyway, Tanner. Got to dig deeper to plant the explosives or damage to the tunnel. Almost everyone is working shifts up there. Wouldn't be too long now. He nods Gorski. How is the security looking? Gorski. Got one man at the cave exit, and that's enough. As far as I'm concerned, automated security is strong there, and as long as we know the crossroad and the cove are clear, no one can sneak up on us. Also, got one man at the underpasses, and he's been ordered not to open the gate, no matter what. The last thing we need right now are those bloody lurkers sneaking up on us. Everyone else is up at the platform securing workers and tunnels. Good, good. If no one has anything else to add... We will conclude the council meeting. Actually, just one more thing. <clears throat> In case you weren't already informed, I admitted a new citizen to the station. That Agent D fellow. Yes, I think he will be a good addition to the station. He and Urs Benacel are still at the range, but they should be done at any moment now. But too much trust in your test, Tanner. All I care about is how he handles live action, not how many points he got. Oh well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's put him to work immediately. We get all the hands on deck right now. So, Vera Hale, Tanner, and Gers Gers Gersky? Gorski. Indeed, that is all, Vera Gorski. So, that is a council of some sort of station. Guess we'll find out. Vensel. An unexpected yawn interrupts. Vensel. He instinctively raises his left hand to cover his mouth, forgetting that he is wearing a respirator. A tiny smile creeps up on your face due to this very fact, yet you understand after so many hours of testing, these kind of lapses tend to sneak up on me. He soon continues, Excuse me, all in all, Agent D, as far as I'm concerned, we're done here. I've got a few other things to do, but unless you'd like to have another go at the testing range, you have no... Reason to stay here any longer. Um, we're gonna start the tutorial. His tight eyes aren't exactly radiating with joy at your response, but he still nods. No problem. But know that it won't affect your previous results, I guess. It's best if we go with the whole procedure. Uh, okay, I'll now open the gate for you to go through. As before, I'll watch you through the cameras. We'll continue once you're past the gate. I am ready. Pretty simple system here. Stealth mode. But we're not very stealthy. Do we have a gun? What do we have? Don't have anything. Loud and clear. Great, now pick up your weapons and armor from the cabinet. I think there's also a few EMPs left on the shelf as well. Tab to highlight. Z. Okay. Hmm. Pretty simple RPG stuff. Do we want to take all this stuff? Did we get a crossbow? We do get a crossbow, so let's take this crossbow. Do I just... There we go. Do 
Do I need my bolts just in my inventory? I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. We'll take this gun too. It's armor. Put it on ourselves. What is that called? Insulated vest. Uh, standard rounds. Take a combat knife too. I don't really want to dual wield here, but does this count as dual wielding? Ability. Apparently this is very valued. I don't think we're going to get this equipment afterwards, so it might not matter, but who knows. There we go. Okay, and we're ready. Um, I'm ready. Oh boy. So they all get their turns. Just throw an EMP, I guess. Short circuited. Does that mean they're dead? Not sure. Oh boy. What's happening here? Huh. Can I not move? Pass them? Oh, I have to end my turn, I guess. There we go. Had a number of AP. Good job, Agent D. Now I want you to pick up an item from the locker. There should be a battery, a hacksaw, and two lockpicks inside. Okay, so some lithium. A haxer. Or can this can this I'm guessing this just sits in our inventory. Supercharged cell. That is an annoying buzzing. I didn't see any lockpicks unless I already took them on accident. Can I just not get through? How do I unlock things? Okay. Could I just... Oh shit, I dropped... The lock picks, okay. That noise is irritating. Do we need one lock picking to do to play this game? Oh boy. Interesting. It's lock picking. Okay. It is one. Oh, I think I know what to do. There we go. Whoopsie daisy. I suppose. There we go. Alright, that's all settled. Hopefully this buzzing will eventually go away. One hacking. So I guess we'll use the hackser. I'd like to hack this box, but I think the hacks is what I need to use. Oh, there's nothing in there. That's lame. That noise goes away the further I get. So I need to hack this box. Oh, it needs power, doesn't it? 
How do I recharge an item? There we go. That worked. That worked. Okay. Cool. Pretty easy. I guess that's how they uh, balance that with the lock picking. An interesting thing. Good, good. Now for the final room. Here you've got one sensory bot and a camera. Try to sneak around the bot if you can. This one will not shut down after one hit, just to let you know. Okay. By the way, the camera can see you no matter how good you think you're hiding, so it would be best if you were able to avoid its line of sight completely. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's run. Oh. Shit. Uh. No. We nope, we did not escape. Run away. I hope this is the right direction. Hi, Mr. Robot. My name is Goodbye. Maybe I'll have to fight it. Yep. Looking kind of like I'm going to have to kill it. Ah! I'm stuck here. Not taking any damage, but still. Boing. Let's kill this dumb robot. So we're resisting it, probably because, uh, yeah. Might as well just get up to it if we're not going to take damage. I think the tutorial has it off. Yeah, definitely, because we just took a critical hit. There we go. That count. Win. Okay, move on. There we go. Alright, so I think that's the tutorial. Pretty simple stuff. Let's go talk to our friend. Well done, Agent D. I hope you're satisfied. And now he yawns. Uh... And then let's check out my new room. No doubt you like it. I have yet to see a newcomer complain, he laughs. Nothing more to say than congratulations again. Agent D, welcome to the Southgate Station. Go and get some rest. Awesome. That is the tutorial. So, uh... I am basically going to... Split the recording here. For the next episode, this is going to be the character creation and tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Join us next time.